started writing in uh, 1999, but not, uh, I didn't start with Nev, I started with another name. I was inspired since I was a little boy, riding the trains with my mom. I used to look out the windows on the elevated train tracks, and I always used to see huge graffiti. I didn't know what it was, I was a little boy, I mean like, you know, I didn't know who was doing it. It really amazed me to see all the colors and how big everything was. I've been into graph for years. I've been into graph before I started bombing. Niggas put me on like meth. <laughs> he started writing first than I did, so that nigga used to take me to go look out for him. I got into it. I got into the whole history of graph, the culture. Shit became a piece of me, that shit. I became a bomber. Me, yeah, I like seeing my shit up. I like driving around and I see my shit in every hood. I like, you know, it's, it's I don't know. I want to be the nigga that's up everywhere, you feel me? When I hear that shit, graph is a crime. Fuck them niggas, I don't give a fuck what they think. That shit ain't stopping me from bombing or anything. I fucking tag up like if it's nothing. I don't think it's a victim. Like, you're not hurting anybody physically or whatever mentally. Maybe, you know, they have to paint it and it'll come out of their pocket or whatever, but it's not no major shit. Feeding me is real important because, um, Personally, I have a lot of stress or problems, you know, in my life. And this, what it does is, I go out late night, I let that all go. I let it all go with expression, colors, it doesn't matter. It's just, I'm not out there to destroy or to vandalize other people's property, you know. It's just, I feel so good when I'm doing this. It's just self-expression I can't explain. Yo, my tag name is Jesus Saves NYC. I started writing um, graffiti since like, let's say like in 87. I was about 13, 12. What inspired me to do graph? Just growing up in my neighborhood and just watching the names and, and you know, the graffiti always caught my attention for some reason. The reason behind my work would be uh, um, the main reason, which is to just spread the word out. I mean, as a believer of you know, of the gospel and of the Lord. What do I think about graffiti being publicized? It's cool. You got graffiti shirt, you got graffiti hats. It's beautiful, I mean, it's art really. It wasn't before. Before it was just straight up words and scribble scrabble and pieces. It was a graph world. Now it's just, this is a world full of art. It's not necessarily that I do everything for graph. It's just I can't stop doing it, so. You feel me, we go out, and if it's not the cops, is the niggas fucking with you, niggas trying to rob you, especially in a grimy ass hood like Bushwick, anything could go wrong. Cops always driving around, especially, they know when, you, when you're walking around 3, 4 in the morning, in the middle of like factories or in the middle of the app, and they just see some fresh tags, they're gonna be like, yo, this nigga did this shit. How much trouble I got for doing graffiti? Supposedly, one more time I get caught for graph, I could be facing uh, probably from 15 days to like a year. I've got arrested a couple of times. You know, DG's undercover is gonna stop me. They're just gonna, if they're driving by real slow, they're just gonna pull out. They're gonna come out, approach me, and stop me. They find pain in my pocket, I'm going in. Regardless, graffiti's not gonna stop. So they're wasting their time anyway. You know what I'm saying? That's all I gotta say. Because we got more than like 700 riders in New York City alone. You know what I'm saying? And to lock one person up and then this person, it's, it's not gonna stop.